Hey guys, we got a terrible case of low back pain and neuropathy down the leg on a 45 year old patient that came to me. This is not just a physical case, even though we have lots of physical signs that show why he has low back pain. This is a mental case. Sometimes family issues alone can be the cause of a lot of physical pain. Check out his range of motion. He has tons of athleticism. He's very flexible. He works out all the time, yet he's still in tons of pain. Check out his x-rays, really awful like advanced 60 year old kind of arthritis is that just like all the other guys no that's a lot harder Cleto's here because he is in pain 25 years he's been to five different chiropractors i day trade in the morning and i sell life insurance in the evening gotcha. what's your age sir too 45. what brought me here was just something stood out about about you and about the videos and seeing different chiropractors been struggling with back problems for uh, 25 years, hurt my back first when I was 18 years old. My nerves are starting to get damaged, and so they send the, the signals down to my feet, and so sometimes they'll just feel like itchy or hot. or So it, it'll be like I look normal because I could do everything, but I know that there's something going exactly. on. Exactly. By 1994, he had a work cop accident. He was doing a drill press kind of thing. Picking yeah, stuff up, picking things up. And, this and he was right a kid here. back then, and he threw his back out. Take a look at his posture right now. It's awful. Okay, I want you Is to it? get. Uh huh. So I just want to show you. Just don't don't change it. I just want to show you everybody because they're gonna know, and you're gonna know when you watch this video back what the hell you're doing wrong right now. So turn to your side, and stand like perfect for yourself. What's perfect for you? Perfect. Yes. Probably like exactly. That. So stand like that. Good. And you guys are gonna see this. <laughs> okay. Now turn this way too. Okay. No, 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 no. Sorry. Let's just straight ahead. Now perfect. Stand perfect again. Good. Love it. I love it. He got kicked out of school. We just get some get some background on this <laughs> this this tyrant right here. Got kicked out of school when he was in high school for what? Fighting. Fighting. He was in a tough neighborhood, so that happens. And I hate to put this out there and you we can cut this out if you don't if you don't want it in here later, but tell us about mother and family and how that was part of who shaped you right now. Well, I, I just think um, you know, uh growing up I've always uh dealt with more anxiety than probably I should have just uh, and how is that make how is that different dynamic how is that manifested how I, what, what happened in your family life that may have brought that anxiety higher than normal well I think I think just the uh, you know different uh, emotional abuse and different things we all you know no nobody lives a perfect life no no so. absolutely not but I just wanted to put that out there because again this is not just physical right this is a mental issue too and I put this in I put this out there not to um, you know, uh, upset him or not to bring bring him down or make him feel bad about it. But I want you guys out there to know that I know what's going on. It's not just a physical problem. A lot of times it's mental abuse and not just abuse, but just mental strain that just causes strain. Strain, stress. strain, stress. And it can be in the form of many different things, but that'll affect your body too, guys. So I understand and I deal with it all the time. And this guy's in spades. <laughs> this guy has, he, he's a result of a lot of years of stress. Right. And he did some Uber work for a while. Tell us what that, that was. That was yeah, that was that was about two years of driving, and I started to notice the the the, the nerve just the, on my right side Every coming time down my butt. Yeah, when I finished, I would sit down on the couch to watch a little TV, and I would feel the nerve, and I would just think, oh, I'll stretch it out later, yeah. and just kind of just got worse and worse. Yeah, it just got worse yeah. and worse. So, anyways, I want to put that out there for your Uber driver, so you can see that. Okay. So we're gonna go through some range of motions and uh, see how he's doing. Okay. Stay right there. Good. Look at how flexible he is, guys. He is really flexible. Hands are touching the ground. He does this all the time. Tell us about back pain, though. Uh, it's about a five. He works out all the time. Fit, flexible. So that's not the issue. And I'm going to show you that I can get him better with chiropractic, not um, flexibility. So go ahead and go back like this. How much pain there, sir? About a six. About a six. And look yeah. at his flexibility. Why is he so motivated to work out and do yoga? Because he's in fucking pain. And if, why is he here? Because it doesn't work. It gives you temporary relief. How much pain there? Uh, about a four. About a three. Pain in your back? Yeah, knees. about a six in my lower back. Cleto's actually pretty bad x-rays wise. Lots of arthritis. He has more arthritis in his low back than most people do. And so I guarantee he has some herniated discs down there. But I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna get him better. His C5, C6 is really arthritic. Uh, his atlas is out, but I'm going to adjust right through the middle and give him some um, structure so we can get the pressure off his brainstem. We have two millimeter left imbalance, left TMJ, and arthritis. We have nine millimeter right curve, four millimeter right short leg, and constipation. High neck reversal here, arthritis, and atlas wear. Lastly, we have massive stage three, stage four arthritis, and constipation. Good, right there. This way. Oh. Is that just like all the other guys? No, that's a lot harder. It just felt more impactful. Yeah, that's always more intense. Yeah. <laughs> I feel he's more getting, nervous. He's getting more so. nervous already. <laughs> Fix it right now, okay? 
And we're always helping our patient up after their first adjustment to see how they feel. Remember not to twist and turn or you will undo my work. Let's check in on Cleto. It almost kind of feels like you still have your fingers in the back of my neck. Fair enough. Any other reason, like physical issues that um, you feel different on? I just feel kind of relaxed. You guys know the drill. We're going to have Cleto walk down the hall. Why are we doing this? Recalibration. Recalibration is important because what we do is we adjust the neck and the body has to adapt to our new balance point. Let's check in on Cleto. I just feel relaxed and I don't want to move my neck. I... That was a six a minute ago. Yeah, I think it's almost the same, but maybe, maybe like a five, maybe a little less pressure. That was a six also. Yeah, it's probably, I mean, probably almost the same. About five, maybe. I think that was a four or five, I think, what you said on that one. Yeah, it feels weird. It feels a little tight or something. I don't, yeah, maybe a little bit more pain. Got gotcha, you, fair enough. It just feels kind of tight. Like, no, I get it. I get it. So good. I'm just well, honest, guys. Honest, honest, honest. Look at the ceiling. How about that? Uh, it's about the same, about a four. That was about a six. Yeah, that's about a four. But he's a lot inside his own head, and you guys will see that as we go along on this. Um, he needs to walk some more, recalibrate his spine. He needs to relax too, which we'll talk about a lot as, as the week goes by. Okay, say goodbye. Sounds good. All right, we'll see you guys. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say the main thing is the the peripheral neur neuropathy. So in my feet, it'll start activity. So like the pain and stuff, I just feel like I'm always gonna deal with it. I mean, maybe not. Maybe you think something different, but. That kind of freaks me out just because of the nerve damage. Totally get it, just... totally get it. How do you feel? You feel any difference? Does the neuropathy feel different? I'm curious. Uh, the, the neuropathy feels about the same, okay. but I feel m more relaxed. Okay. I definitely feel more relaxed. Like even sitting down here, I'm just like more chill. Yeah. And, and what about your uh, sleep last night? I think it was good. I mean, I slept through the whole night. Okay, let's see your notes. Let's see your notes. 1245, walked around building. Good. Feel more relaxed. Discomfort in feet is about a 3.5 more on the left foot. Okay, so remember what I told you I want differences, not what you feel. I want to know when the foot started being a 3.5. Was it on the second lap, first lap, third lap? Was it, did it happen the whole time? That kind of stuff. So okay. tell me what happened there. Um, maybe around the second lap. Okay, like... so stop. I don't care maybe. I always want you to know for sure. Okay. And so when you write stuff down, I want 12.45 Second lap, my feet start hurting. Okay. Okay. That's how I want, because again, you don't realize that this is going to be a jump start to more aggressive treatment later. So when you're aware of your pain and how it starts and stops, I can help you better. And the okay. reason for this, and everybody always gets mad at me, but the reason for this is because you don't know what you're talking about. The notes will tell us what's going on. Okay. So if you tell me, oh, I sit back in the chair and then we start talking about it, and you're like, really? The neuropathy started in the car. So really, it's not you sitting back in the chair. It's the car. If you do the notes right, we'll know. But I thought you meant change from, okay, now you're treated. So what's different now than maybe before you were ever treated by me? When I adjust you right now in a few minutes, uh -huh. whatever happens after this, I want to know what changes. Okay, so what changes throughout the day, not what changes from before I was ever... Uh -uh, not even at all. Okay. So if it goes from a two to a three, I want to know that. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, Clara, what did you do about icing last night? Uh, ice, uh, like you said, got a bag of uh, ice from the hotel thing, from the ice machine, and put it on my neck, put a sheet of paper, and put it on my neck, did it for 20 minutes, then I tried taking a nap. Okay, so hold on, show me where you put the... Um, Back here. Good, and show me how you held the towel. Like this. Good, that's wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna have you hold it down here in the future like this. Okay, because maybe it was too big, so it was like kind of hard. So yeah, well, the bag you had was the hotel bag, right? For the ice machine, the ice box? Yeah, first I had a, a, the plastic grocery bags, and then I put that inside the big trash can bag. Well, the trash can bag that we have with the hotel in the trash yeah, cans, right? Yeah, That's probably big enough, but you need to have it so that you can wrap it around your neck. Yeah, mold it around mold my neck. Mold a little more. Yeah, yeah. I want it to come around here like this. Oh, okay. Not just right. on the back. Okay. Okay? And so uh, you may take a little ice out of it, okay? And when you hold it, it's not about holding it as hard as you can. Uh -huh. It's just holding it lightly. Okay. So it's just laying Sitting on your neck. There. Okay. Okay. I always feel like I'm fighting you. I'm like... Oh, 
It never stops being a little scary. <laughs> this has been two days in, this is his third day. I think the biggest thing that I learned is the, the eight pants technique and mm -hmm. how it just feels like you're not standing correctly, but you actually are. And I was surprised at how I felt my lower back muscles being used just by walking, like where before they weren't, they're just like activated. It kind of felt like a workout. Fair enough. Um, and then I noticed that the neuropathy is better uh, sitting down. I could sit down for a longer period of time without it getting too high. So that was the first time I felt that. I felt more refreshed and the reason why I could tell I was more refreshed because my mind was clearer and I was thinking of the possibilities of the day and you know things I could do, just just more excited. Well, Starting to feel like I can, whatever task it is, you know, yeah. break it down and Good. do what I gotta do. How much pain here, sir? Maybe an eight. Gotcha. Slow, deep breaths will help with the pain. Good. I'm gonna let go at about 15 seconds here. When I let go, tell us all what it feels like when I let go. Maybe a little lightheaded, not too much. Okay, anything else? Just relaxed. More relaxed, right? Mm -hmm. More relaxed than when you sat down, right? Yeah. When I push on the shoulders, what I'm doing is I'm forcing his shoulders to go down, which is where they're supposed to be. When they're down, the brain perceives relaxation. It's like a cat and a dog when they get scared, the hair stands up on their back. Mm. When they're not scared, what happens? The hair goes down, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing with him. Good, now forward again. Good, okay. Good. Let it drop again. Less painful. Less too. painful? Good. Keep your head forward a little bit, please. Forward, forward, forward. Good. More forward. Good. Now more lean to the left. Good. Let me do it again. I feel hopeful. Uh, the neuropathy has gone down. I uh, feel my body more relaxed. Um, learning how to walk, how to sit. And with the adjustments has, uh, has made a difference. Gotcha. Feel it. All week, I think I've been trying, but I think my my beliefs haven't like yeah. caught up to. Yeah, it's not that he hasn't body. tried. What did you say? Can you remember what you said this morning? Um, I said that I didn't really believe that I was going to get better, or that it was going to be short term. Like yeah. I would feel better. In the I always want you to hear those words <clears throat> when you come to me. Hear those words he just said, because all of you come in with that attitude. You guys don't believe it, but you come in with that attitude. And he said it so succinctly, it made me laugh because I'm like, she just laid it out there. That's exactly the issue is that people don't believe they're going to get better. And I always say that I have to build trust between my patients. It takes this whole first week to build that trust and really just last visit. Yeah, I'm starting to believe that it can work for my body where nothing else has um, yeah. in a way. Take 50% better. Okay, cool. The neuropathy, where do you think you're at now? Where do you, where do you think the... the at, at this second? Yeah. It's a... Two. How much better is your little back? I'm kind of curious. If it is, um, you feel, he feels yeah, he it, it all week. He's felt it more. It's kind of weird because I started noticing it more. As my, it's like the neuropathy went down, but my lower back got a little sore. How about the neck pain? Uh, neck just feels a little worked. Little like worked. It, like I worked it out and gotcha. it feels a little sore. Uh, it's been. I think it's been better. I think it's been better. Gotcha. Uh, now the reason why I'm asking the question is how is your anxiety this week? Or something uh, it's been. It's been good. Down. No, How much better is anxiety this week compared to normal? 50% mm. better, 10, yeah, 20, I mean, maybe more, maybe, maybe more. 60, 70. Gotcha. And the reason I ask this question, guys, because you guys always want to know how sleep, why do I keep talking about sleep so much? It's because anxiety. He's still an anxious person. He still has not quite got the whole idea of relaxing, but he even admits that his anxiety is down because it was way worse before. Yeah, I was yeah. running. I was going pretty fast. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, during, I think Wednesday was the day that I woke up and, and um, I was just more alert and looking forward to the day, to the things I was gonna do, people I was gonna see. Has that like continued? That. Um, I think the yesterday I was kind of tired. I think I was a little bummed, like I said, about the uh, x-rays and, and I just felt tired, but today I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah. Good, anything else right. for sure? Uh, no, just excited to keep going. I'm excited too to have you here. Ooh. You always get me. I think I know when you're about to pull the trigger and then you 